Hey, howdy, hey guys, we're back for MOBA Madness. And today we are playing uh, one, actually, probably the most different of all the MOBAs we've played so far. We are playing Smite. Now, uh, this one, as of the main difference, is, is pretty obvious. It's third person. This is um, actually makes it quite stand out among a few other MOBAs because the only other third person MOBA I can think of is um, Sunday uh, Monday Night Combat so it's it's always nice to see some more you know unique takes on the genre yeah. anyway in this one you play uh, over I believe it's over 50 gods from seven different mythologies and slash religions and have them duke it out to reign supreme. Anyway, I'm playing Guan Yu, he's a Chinese god. Uh, one thing I will say, I am very... Uh, while there are some of the very uh, common gods, like Thor, um, Ra, Ra, and um, Poseidon, no, yeah, uh, Poseidon, there's actually some ones I was not ex expecting, mainly Hindu gods. I, I, I was not expecting this as because there are actual people that worship Hindu, so I thought that was a bit odd. But you know what? Wait, wait, Mi Michael, that makes no sense. If it's a religion, you would expect some people to actually worship it. <laughs> they do. They do. People do really uh, worship Hindu gods. It's a very. It's people in India. They worship Hindu gods. But Mike, this shouldn't be strange to you. No, it's just that. A lot of the gods that are in this aren't worshipping them. Or if they are, they're, you know, it's, they're, 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 they say they worship them. Like you get a bunch of metal guys like the sons of Lord and they're like, yeah, they're, they're just students of the sun. But anyway, yeah, so, um,. Anyway, uh, so yes, yeah, so in this one, as I said, you play several gods and you have to duke it out. Basically, gameplay is similar uh, to Dota and all that. You know, lead your troops to the ancients, or in this case, a titan, and um, defeat the titan. And one thing I quite like is that the titan is will fight you back. It's, it's not just a uh, it's not just a structure, it's an actual, like, thing. Yeah, and it will fight back. But uh, to make it easier, the more enemy structures you defeat, the weaker it will be. This means you can't just rush one lane. You sometimes have to work on all of them. Which I quite like. Um, you can do it to a single lane, but it's harder. So, I quite like that, to be honest. I think it's, um, I think it's a pretty good system. Anyway, um, so as you can see, you're running around in third person, and uh, you gotta keep moving and all that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's it's quite good actually. I quite, I quite enjoy this game. It's it's fast and it's frantic. Anyway, uh, yeah, it, it, it's it's a it's a very it, it, this game is based more on like um, a hack and slash rather than a a, a top down strategy game. So basically, there isn't any. Um, so there isn't any like camera scrolling around the map to see what other people are doing. It's very much a communication-based game. You have to keep communicating with your with your uh, friends uh, about where people are, how to know what you're doing, stuff like that. Uh, Mobiles are normally communication-based, but um, this one especially, just because you can't see anything apart from what you what you see yourself. You can't even see behind you, so it's yeah. uh, it's fairly important to uh, keep your. Um, Keep your uh, team informed. Um, now, the the big big differences gameplay wise um, that are to do with this game is the fact that um, th this is again like uh, League of Legends. You're trying to you're trying to poke your opponent um, to uh, get them down far enough so you can jump in and and initiate like a final battle between you and your opponent. Um, now, I like I said, I really like this, this style of uh, game. Um, the other major difference is the fact that items never have active components to them. They're always passive. There are active but, items. No, no, no. You, they never have active components. Um, you can buy summoner spells. So if you look on Michael's 
bar, you'll see that he's got two spaces for basically summoner yeah, spells on his thing. But yeah, they, they, they have you got the the boots uh, by any no, chance? The, uh, oh. Okay. God. Well, yeah, you you can buy summoner spells and you can upgrade them with money. So that's that's a that's one of the differences. Um. The other difference is this is a bit of a faster game than. Yeah, you're, you're gonna die. You thought you'd die quickly in Dota, you, you die like crazy in this game. Although it, it, it doesn't. Death's not as bad in this game, I don't think. Um, yeah, death isn't as bad as in Dota because, of course, you don't lose money again. Um, in fact, you're you're kind of expected to die a few times just because of how many uh, how many jump uh, how many people have uh, leaps and can initiate combat with your opponents more, basically. So, y y there's more death that happens in this game more often, but... More it's, relaxed. It, it's, it's a lot more relaxed, because you don't you don't gain as much from killing your opponent, so it's not as bad It's not as bad to die in this game as it is in the War of Dota. Um, the other thing about it is, uh, you, like I said, the game's faster paced. You do get your ultimate earlier, your... Um, one thing I, I like is that they don't. Uh, this map we're seeing is the like big conquest map. This is your standard you know, one, but all the other maps in between game modes, um, they all they they're not Greek mythology like this one. They because there's different gods and different mythologies. There is there's a, a Norse map. Um, what was it? What was the other one? Um, oh yeah, um, there's one where it's a jousting ring. Because the game mode is called Joust. It's a quick three v three on one lane. Yeah, it's it's a very uh, kind of English um, castles and stuff like that, um, which is based on knights and stuff like that. It, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a pretty cool map. Although this map isn't the one we played on last time either. So I'm guessing that there's a few different conquest maps, just no, just with a different bit of flavor. No, this is the same. I think we were just facing the other direction. Uh, maybe. Oh yeah, maybe you're right. I just realized that. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm getting killed again with so much yeah. stuff. Anyway, uh, uh, what do you say the pros of this game are? Um, the pros of this game are, um, well, it's a lot, it's very different. You feel very much in control of your character, you, uh, auto, your auto attacks are very targeted. Um, so basically everything feels like you're in control a lot more. You, you feel a lot more. I feel like you are the character instead of you are commanding the character. Now that's the, that's the pro of the game. The the con of the the con of this pro though there is that you can miss auto attacks. In fact, yeah. missing auto attacks happens quite often. Um, the uh, other thing is that because you are more control of the character, a lot more of the skills are skill shots. So you can. Uh, so a lot of the uh, a lot of the action is based on your actual uh, dexterity skill in uh, firing skill shots instead of your strategic skill in firing them. So I'd say another uh, one um, pro is it's easier to get into this one. Uh, it's got a bunch, it's got tutorials to help get you started um, and all that. And another thing is that. Unlike other ones, because death isn't as, uh, oh my god, you noob, how could you die? It, you, you feel like you're not playing this big, um, this sort of like this thing where you have to, you're, you're just super stressful. You're actually playing a fun game. again. Yep. It's killing me. Um. Like another one of the things I do like about this game, uh, jungling is uh, jungling is a thing in this. G oh God, I'm gonna be gonna get ulted again by a uh, our soul wolf. Um. Oh my God, let me go. Uh, no explanations for you, Sean. Oh no! I think, no. I, I, I think I know where you were going. I was talking about the various camps. Uh, yes, so the camps in this game are, again, very structured, you know where they are, you can jungle, jungling is in this game again, so you can very easily go into the jungle and run around. The other nice thing about this game, or it can be a pro or a con, it, it, it's not really a thing, is the lanes are a lot, feel a lot closer to each other, you can get across the map very, uh, a heck of a lot faster in this game 
than you can in other games. It doesn't take you as long. So, um, you feel like you're always close to... Um, wow, that was pretty bad. Yeah. Um. Um, yeah. So it it's always it always feels like you can always help your friends. I also feel this is one is just generally easier to get into, like un, like other mobas. Like some people are normally put off by the RTS formula. Uh, yeah. But it depends on uh, depends on your point of view. Some people really like the RTS formula just because it feels like you. You can't screw yourself over by not having as good dexterity as the other player or something like that. Mm. So. Um, let's see, what else is there? Uh, oh, yes, the game adopts the same um, two forms of credit policy that uh, League of Legends does. You have you can actually pay for your money or you can actually um, build the game credit so that you get to play the game. But I think that the drop rate for the frames are a lot lower in this one than it is in League. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, like it, it, it's very difficult to get a champion in this game. Um, if if you were lucky enough to play in the beta, as I was, um, you get you got a bunch of champions for free. But if you're like Michael and weren't in that, uh, I'm charging on a horse. If you were, if you weren't lucky enough to be in the beta, then yeah, you, you have to save up a lot. A lot of favor. It will usually give eno you enough favor to get started by giving you a thousand favor every, I don't know, five levels or so, so you can get a, a champion uh, very quickly. But once you've got that first champion, it's very, very difficult to get another one. Yeah, so. which is a shame because there's not some some of the champions that are pretty good. Like, um, let's see, I, I'm. I quite, I'm quite a fan of one called Apollo, which he's a very quick, fast guy, which I'm quite, which I quite like. He, he's got good attack speed and all that. Um, one thing I don't know if it's just because of how this game is laid out, but I feel that the items don't make as much of a difference. Like I don't see myself gaining as much power as I do in other games like League and Dota. I feel I don't know. I think that might be just to, due to how the game is set up, or maybe just in general, you don't actually gain that much strength um, through items or leveling up. So I don't know if that's just how the game is. Yeah, I, I think that I think that's true. I don't think that you gain as much power through items. I think items are a lot more. Uh, they're a lot. They're a lot more passive in this game. Um, however. Um, However, you can, uh, you, because of how quick, basically how, because the game was designed around being able to play a Dota, be, be able to play a MOBA quickly, you can uh, tell um, the game which items you want and uh, what items, uh, what uh, skills you want, and you can also buy them and also uh, select them for you, which is amazingly useful if you just want to, you know, spawn and r rush out of the base immediately. Anyway, um, let's see. Well, what else? Uh, is there any other um, sort of uh, cons to cons to this game? Uh, one I don't like is that it's it's very easy to like if you want to run away, you literally have to turn your character away and run the other direction. And you, and you can't see, yeah. Yeah. Point of view is very limited in this game. Though I, if I, if an enemy can, if an ally can see an enemy, then that enemy is silhouette is highlighted, if, and we can see them through the walls, which is quite nice. But again, it, yeah, perception in the make, makes a big difference in this game. Well, anyway, let's see. Um, yeah, so as we were saying, that you don't actually gain that much power. I find this actually is very bad for the, uh, the game as a whole because you're meant to be playing a god and if you don't feel like a god well the game's kind of failing you, isn't it? Uh, crap there's a newbus to, to be honest I, I think that this uh, this whole thing about um, this whole thing about uh, it, it not feeling the same way as it looks or is in the lore is actually kind of a, a little bit silly, to be honest. 
I don't particularly mind the fact that I don't feel like a god, I just want to play. Besides, we're not actually playing gods, if you remember the lore, Michael. Are we playing... We're, we're, playing, we're playing demigods pretending to be gods. That's how it works. Yes. Ah. Interesting. Okay. Well, I don't know. Lauren, these games are so weird. They can't just have... Here are some guys. They work for an organization. They fight. Huzzah. You, you, you kind of... Like, like you said you wanted to make it... Like, you maybe make a MOBA at some point. You gave a, a quick lore about that and you didn't make it as simple either. You made it all about a game show or something like that. Yeah, but like... If you got that, you know the uh, why anyone would be fighting for that. They'd be fighting for money or fame, like that right there. There's your uh, your motives, your, uh, your reasons, and for this, nope. no. you would just be these incredibly skilled fighters. Well, this one, I don't know. You're saying we're demigods, playing the gods, fighting because fighting each other to determine how we like we're fighting to determine how they. Will uh, thrill over or something. Yeah. I don't know. It is weird. Uh, Dota. Go, don't get me started on Dota. Anyway, yeah, um, Dota's lore is really, really, really strange. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, oh, uh, one thing I quite like the uh, the various camps that you're seeing around here. They give off buffs. If you defeat the cat, the enemies at the camp, you'll get a buff, and this buff uh, will improve the stat of the associated buff, which can be slain. very useful. In uh, for giving you a nice little thing. And yeah. So th there's also normal camps which just give XP and money, but like the the buffs in this game are very very useful and very good. So yeah. And depending on what character you got, you're playing, it's it's good to always uh, you know like uh, go get a certain buff to improve your skills. Yep. Yeah. Um, one thing though, because this is now even. I don't know what how often the heroes rotate in this game, but it, it might just be uh, like because of it. There's a Fourth of July event recently that the characters haven't switched yet. But yeah, it's been a we've had the same few heroes for a while now, and since this game is like even more heavily dependent on the rotation than League of Legends. Yeah, that, that's true. I mean, I, the rotation does seem long. I, I don't know how long it actually is. And I, in League of Legends, it's every week, but I don't know how long. All of them are every week. Even um, oh, what was it? Uh, the other one? That, there's another one that does rotations as well. I think it was awesome. Was it maybe possibly awesome knots or something? They do their weekly rotations. So yeah, that's. So I don't know. Yeah, but well, well, I I think it, this I I like the rotation strategy. Don't get me wrong, but I do think that uh, maybe it's a bit on the long side um, in this game. Yeah. It, well, that that's if if it isn't actually a week and we're just uh, making it seem longer for some reason or not. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's been a week. It's been more than a week. Oh yeah, one thing. While I, uh, when I was complaining about people surrendering quickly, uh, in this, uh, surrendering quickly in like le surrendering in League of Legends, they can surrender a lot quicker in this game. I've seen a game end eight minutes in. It's like eight minutes. Half the team just stop, stop trying, which I really don't like. I really don't like that. Okay, wait, I think you might... Oh, no, wait, I see. Oh, never mind. Um, so, yeah. Uh, any other cons to this game or pros? Uh, to, be, to be honest, I think I think that's pretty much it. It's pretty much League of Legends, but in third person. <laughs> yeah. Uh, other than that, it's, it's very, very, very similar. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, one thing I quite like... Uh, Don't get too close to him. Oh, yeah, him. He, he's, he's annoying me, that guy. Okay, we're going, we're going, let's go this way. I tried playing that guy. He was... He was like a versatile hero, but god, he really just couldn't do that much. That guy's really doing well with him. Uh, I think we might be being followed. Ah, I'm on a horse! I'm on a horse! Well, 
we killed him. Oh no, he killed me. Wait, where's... Oh, okay, he disappeared somewhere. Oh. I don't, I don't think he did. I got a kill. I got a kill straight on uh, the wolf guy. Uh, Fenrir. There we go. That's the one. I think one of the problems, another problem is that things can happen so quickly that it just goes by. It's like, what's happening? I don't know. Attack. Yeah, because you can't see things from above and ever and your move and your uh, screens jumping all over the place. It's very difficult to figure out exactly what's going on around you most of the time. So you have yeah. to keep wheeling the the camera around and uh, to see. But, uh, like I said, that can be a pro and a con. You have to keep people informed. Mm, plus um, the, the, the blind... Uh, because you have blind pick in this ma this mode, um, there's another person with me that's using the same character as me, so I'm, I'm, I'm a bit worried that people are going to start attacking... like, trying to attack me thinking I'm them, or vice versa. So that can be a bit confusing. To be we're... we're that's not such a big problem because we, of course, have big r glowing red and green health bars above us, but... Yeah, but in the heat of battle... It can be a bit confusing, yeah. Uh, to be honest, I, uh, while I like uh, the fact that we've got so many different gods, uh, I want them to go further. I want, them, I want to see uh, any god we can. I'd like to see Christian. I'd like to see that. I want to play Jesus. He'd be a healer. So he would be very simple. Then you could have Moses, he would have an AoE party. <laughs> you, you want a Christian. You, 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 well, you'd be oh, saying Christ things like that. And ever since we started playing with uh, It'd be hilarious just seeing that. But of course, like, a lot of some. some he, that's an ultimate. And you got killed by it. Yeah, I mean, you could say some people might get offended, but at the same time, they have Hindu gods in this, and to be honest, that people there are a lot of Hindus in the world, so if they don't mind defending them, defend Christians. Why not? They seriously, South Park has done worse, <laughs> and I'm absolutely fine with it. To be honest, like I'm, I'm not the most religious person myself, but I, I really wouldn't mind it. I think it'd be, awesome. I think it'd be awesome. I don't know what you would do if you actually were to include God himself. So. Uh, just like, yeah, that, that it would be a bit weird. Just have a God called God. Yeah, you could actually... Um, you could... Actually, I think his name is Jehovah. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a particularly religious person either, so what do I know? I'm, I'm, going, I'm going by... Uh, Indiana Jones here. Uh, Michael, can you defend the left tower, please? Uh, okay. Uh, great, fighting... Uh, Yourself. Higher, yep, a higher level version of myself with that. But you're under a tower, so you count as, I don't know, six level higher or something. And there's a dragon. Oh, anyway, he's my ally. Again, I've been so used to seeing that attack. I think, you know, thinking it's my ally. But... Uh, there is some downside. Well, apart from actually getting the same character as your opponent, I don't actually see that many. Like Brian Pick is a fairly common uh, thing that most things, uh, most uh, uh, most mobas use, mainly because it's just it's fair. Everybody gets to, both sides get to choose a team that is going to kill me if I don't move as fast as possible. Um, And it, yeah, basically, people on the team can uh, select a team uh, that is balanced, and they understand who's on their team, and, and uh, it, it, it's it's fairly complicated. Ah, ah, got me. Yeah, Fenrir has been doing that a lot, which is really oh. nice. My We're gonna lose that left tower, aren't we? One thing I like is uh, when a few champ uh, of the cars have ultimates, which where they they just go flying into the air and then slam right down. I think it's really cool. Because you have to, you've got things coming in from the sky, although you can't actually look up. You can look up. I don't think you can. You you got a mouse, Michael. Look up. 
I can't. I can't look up. Okay, well... Whatever. <laughs> Right. I can't right look up. You'll see in the video. You mean like directly up? Yeah. No, yeah, but you it's not usually directly up, they're coming from anyway, so. Uh, anyway, um I think it's easy to make a comeback in this game. Like Dota is hard to make a comeback in, but it can be done. League is a bit better, a bit easier because um, mega creeps are only for a certain amount of time. But and they are in this game too. But I don't know how well that it still is for to make a comeback. I I don't think that I don't think uh, there is mega creeps in this game, is there? There's, there is. They, they get. Uh, it's, it's creeps over time, doesn't it? It's, it's not. It's not like mega creeps. Um, the, the you don't. You don't. They you don't defeat fire. the phoenix. If yeah, you, you defeat the phoenix, they get fl flaming creeps. So they get oh. Oh, god damn it. I hate that dragon. I hate Yeah, no, I, I can't do any damage anymore. My ultimate's doing nothing. Yeah, I think... I don't know. Oh, no, I they, they, they really fed. Or, yeah. actually, you were on right line, weren't you? Yeah, you really fed them. I blame you entirely. <laughs> well, I don't think Ra was. Doing uh, like, I like, I managed to kill them both at one point, but yeah. we were we were kind of trading at the beginning. I I mean, I think they got like maybe one or two more kills than us, but we were pretty much trading me and um, Ymir. You're right, Phoenix is under attack. Maybe maybe mid wasn't doing great. I don't know. Whatever. You can usually defeat. You can usually figure out who it was, but I'm only level 13, so I'm not. Doing yeah, I'm 16, so you're a good three levels. Yeah, and the uh, ice golem guys. Yeah. Okay, stick together, team. Rip up. An enemy. Uh, what do you see? How do you see about uh, po potential in this game? Like, um, you know, feature, feature content. Um, to be honest, like it, it's the same amount of future content as. Man, they just literally like one shot me before I even managed to get off my ult properly. I don't know why you may have went quite in for that, but okay. Uh, um, I think the god angle does limit it because they actually have to. Because I don't know how many gods there are that they can actually. There's a, there's a lot of gods in the world. I, I know, but like, so I'll take this god, and then you've got to take the ones that are one, actually have been depicted in some form, and then two, uh, can actually have things associated with them that you can bring, actually apply to a, f a physical character that can attack. Yeah, well, what you can do is you can, uh, you can also use, um, mythical gods which nobody has, which nobody has, uh, uh, like which nobody the, has um, actually worshipped, but people do actually understand or know about. So they could have Cthulhu in this game. There's nothing wrong I with like that. The flying spaghetti like monster. You, you could have this fl flying, flying spaghetti monster if you really wanted to. Or, um, let's see, what other gods are there? Uh, I, I don't think. I, I, I worship. <laughs> or you, or you could have the devil. Demons, yeah, you not? could. Um, Cthulhu. I already said Cthulhu. Okay. <laughs> that, that's what well, I said. That started this whole us going on random god thing. Ah, uh, Daedric. Well, the yeah, a any Eldric gods could fit the fit the bill. Yeah. In that case. Um. So yeah. There is good potential, but then you've also got um. Then they've got the various skins. 
Mm, that's about it. Yeah, to be honest, like the skins, they haven't done that many skins in this game at all. They're, they've got some uh, palette changes for gold skins. Oh, for, I hate those ones. They look horrible. For masteries, and that's about it, as far as I've seen. There's, there's not much. You're meant to be like. I think they're meant to be like. Congratulations, you've mastered this. Now here's a horrible-looking solid gold skin. I'm not wearing that. Here, I. Yeah, but. So, now some of the other ones that the ones that actually completely changed the model are awesome looking. There's some cool ones in there. Like, um, uh, for Fenrir, there's a Robo Dog one. I think one of my favorites um, for what was it? Thor was a basically uh, the armor from Tribe to Send. Want to to play again? And yeah, there's a lot of pretty fun, pretty cool skins out there. But again, not a lot of them. But. Um, I do like some of the designs they've come out for some of these gods. Like, they've got Cupid. And Cupid is. Uh, like, you'd think, oh, little baby and with wings and bow, and yeah, it's exactly what he is. But he's still a good character. Because he still keeps shooting you with these arrows that. will. that uh, cause explosions of hearts and love. He kills you with the power of love. Power of love. Yeah, uh, whoever you know actually designed the various gods are creative in that way. Cause, uh, cause, so yeah, I, I, I have no doubt that they will be able to make up some new champions. I just hope they make up some new skins and maybe something else. Uh, I don't know what else they could add, like apart from new game modes. But I'm just, I'd like them to come up with something. Uh, Anyway, we'll see. But to be honest, because I didn't get a lot of uh, credit for playing these games, I don't feel a, as big a nerd to play them. Like I don't feel a big urge to play League of Legends for the exact same reason. But in League of Legends, at least I get more for playing a game like doing smites. Although games in this are generally quicker, so maybe it's a nice balance. They're quicker, but not that much quicker. I mean, like we've been playing for thirty minutes now. Yeah. Man, um, time doesn't time fly. Oh. Time on that hard. Double fist. Oh man. Uh, yeah, my ultimate is not good in close quarters. I was like running around in the circle thing. Ah, hit him, hit him, hit him. I don't know if I was the entire time. Yeah. Hey, the, 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 basically the last thing about this game is um, it, they, they seem to be focusing a lot more on um, focusing a lot more on the maps and game types and all that sort of stuff instead of the actual um, appearance factor of the game, which is nice. Um, there's a lot of different, lots of different game modes. There's a match of the day, which is literally what it sounds like. There's a different game mode every day that um, changes the way the game works slightly. I think some of the they need to maybe rework some of the ultimates in this game because some of them just don't seem to do that much. Like um, Mercury's one, he like charges through a bunch of guys, gets some spinning rounds. And that's about it. Which is kind of good, but uh, and then you've got ones like Beam Up, Speed Up, and Speed Up, or or freaking or can do this a solid beam that does a bunch of damage. And, kills me. and you say the Nubis wasn't good. Ultimate well, was hard to use this game. This game's doing really well. This guy it used, really it well. used to be really pretty good because it used to be quite a long channel that did a decent amount of damage. Now it's a short channel which does a large amount of damage. Um, and the other thing was it was really hard to aim. Yeah. Well, anyway, as you can see on my screen, they are now attacking our. T they were, well, they were attacking our Titan. And our Titan is just standing there waiting to fight them off again. Um, did you, you, you said that our Titan changes design depending on which gods we're using it, doesn't it? 
Um, I think I was wrong. I think it's just to which side you're on. I thought I thought it was uh, dependent on which gods you're using, but no, it's it's just um, they've got uh, two one-legged women on the blue side, and we've got some sort of hellish. No, you thing. Don't know. I thought there was more. Like I've seen videos of them using a minotaur. Yeah, that that was from the original beta stuff. They removed that eventually. I don't know. They just I don't know. Didn't didn't suit or something. Actually, apparently, if a game in according to uh, fact facts, um, if a game originally if a game went on too long, two losses just charge out of our pieces into the center and just take it out. And whoever won, cool. whichever won, uh, won the game. That was a pretty cool uh, idea, actually. Yeah, uh, they got removed. Yeah. There's Fenrir. Okay, we're we're charging their base. Charge! I'm on okay. a horse! I'm on a horse! I'm off a horse! He's on a horse. Okay, we're leaving. Oh, we're on the wrong side. I'm on the wrong side of the map. Hello. Hello. Uh, let's just take out minions. Uh, they're flaming. Oh god. Yeah, uh, I'm leaving. Back, back, back. Yeah. No freaking newest. That's fine. Just go towards the. Go towards what's his face? The dragon guy. There's one of the things I can't ever get right in this game is like I can't ever remember any of the names of any of the champions. Apart from some of them that are easily like Thor and such, some of them are a bit odd. I think it depends on who you remember from actual other stories. Some have more rec easy recognizable names. I think some are more. Yeah, double kill. Oh, good for you, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, These guys do right, but I think I think I think ranged heroes have quite an advantage in this game. Like, blah, blah, blah. Oh, he got me. Yeah, it was close. I almost got away. If there's any lore progression in this game. Like, apparently League of Legends is at lore progression. Yeah, like, like certain things change in League of Legends. Like, stories change, um, or evolve over time. Certain things happen. Yeah, I don't know about this one. I'm not sure about Dota either. An enemy has been slain. Well, Dota's not been out for very for well. Neither of these two games have been out. They pretty much came out at the same time, I think. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, League League's been out for a while now. Yeah, League's been out for several years. Yeah. Well, I, I look forward to seeing how a lot of these games progress because each one of them has been changed. Yeah. An ally has been slain. Uh, this is... well, we got our phoenix back. Like, yep, yeah, phoenixes respawn in this game. Um, yeah, I like that. That's good. Like, that is one thing. Oh, and apparently I think you can have multiple buffs in this game, because I'm pretty sure one of the guys changed around. Yeah. I'm on a horse! I'm on a horse! I'm on a horse! Okay, I'm not staying around, I apologize, but I'm not staying around. Mr. Dragon Guy, don't run out there! It's not worth your life! <laughs> it's 
two cyclones kicking off against each other. I think one thing that I find a bit weird is a lot, like, they sort of changed up a lot of the, uh, the lore of the gods in these. Like, what was it? You've got Zeus in here and you have Hercules, but in this, Zeus isn't the son of Zeus. Uh, Hercules isn't the son of Zeus, he's the son of Jupiter, who basically was the Roman god. Zeus. So, yeah, it's weird. Like, they're technically, I think they were basically the same person. It's just An Romans worship the planets more. No, there were, I think they worship gods that are named that were named after yeah. the planets or something. I don't know. I don't like I said, I don't know much about religions and stuff like that, so Yeah. Well anyway, yeah, this game's sort of going in one direction now. We're making advances. Although I, we are catching up. Uh it's trying to use the max level. I think so. Is under attack. Yeah. I feel like you're a, a long way to this game. Ah, crap, yeah. You are because the, because the towers do a lot of damage. Uh, that was one of the things about Dota, is that towers do not do a lot of damage at all. In League, in this game, towers do a ton of freaking damage. Again, leading more to the whole you don't feel like a god thing. You feel like an incredibly power individual, but not. But again, apparently, you're not supposed to be a god. It's weird. <laughs> anyway, yeah, they're attacking the phoenixes again. Man, this, yeah, game has gone off. this game has gone on longer. League and Dota. And this is meant to be the quick one. Yeah, but to be honest, like any game, like I've had League games that have lasted for like one and a half hours. And I've had Dota, I've had a Dota game which has lasted, um, not one and a half hours, not that long, but it has lasted for a decent length of time. They just took out our mid Phoenix. Yeah, we're gonna die in a minute. Ooh, regretting the fire. Video. You can delete the file size once you've made the video. I know, I know, it's just... Uh, one terabyte, so... It's over time. Oh, no. Gigabyte. It's not gonna be that bad, but... Yeah. Getting when any XP I can. Ah. Like I'm almost, I think I'm pretty sure I'm well, I'm three away from max level. I've got some relatively good items, and like these mobs that I was, you know, that I was killing for to get these things are still like taking a few hits. I mean, again, you don't feel that all powerful. I know it's it's it, it, it goes back to that feeling you know when you're in like playing your an MMO you're like level 60 and then you go back to that level one area you go you're surrounded by a hundred uh, shit a ton of those little annoying enemies that would swarm you when you're low level they're all trying to attack you maybe doing one damage then you hit one your weakest AOE kills them all and you feel like an unbelievable badass. I don't get that. That's my one of my big drawbacks for it. Yeah. So to be honest, like it's it, the minions do get tougher as the game goes on. Mm. So that's probably why. But I'm not sure. You sure? Yeah, the t minions get tougher. You get more heart of the harder enemies, and they all get more health and defense and stuff like that. The other one, MMO, the other uh, ones we played do that as well. Oh my god, um, 
Uh, no, not that I know of. Actually, maybe. I, I don't know. If, I don't know if uh, Dota does it. I know Dota does it when you take out towers and stuff like that. But I'm on a horse. I'm on a horse. Ah, I'm being chased. I'm being chased. I'm dead. In this game, it's like. You, you you can't tell if you're being chased until you look back. But as soon as you look back, you've lowered your speed. It's like, ah, oh God! Well, you can look in the minimap. I can't see behind you. Yeah, you can look at the minimap. Yeah, but I, I, I can't... S if they're behind me and no one, no allies spot them, then they don't show up. Oh, do they not? Okay, no. I don't know that. That's pretty cool, uh, actually, I think, though. I kind of like that. Yeah, this is the quick MOBA, and oh god, we lost again! We're never going to win, so we're never going to win! <laughs> we, we've, been, we've been dodging from MOBA to MOBA all day, so I guess it's just, uh, I don't know. Oh, one thing I will say I do like about this is that the the win and loss screens for each hero is uh, champion is different, and some of them are goddamn funny as hell. What was it? One of the Archer Girl Neve does caramel dance, and, and I think that is awesome. But yeah, okay. Oh, one thing I will say that um, one you know actually there was something that that I just realized that actually makes you keep coming back to this is that you can level up each god basically through the mastery. So it, and unfortunately that only gets you really uh, a gold, horrible looking gold skin. But it's still something to keep coming back for. So that's kind of nice. The fact that you can master every god by getting them worshippers. So I kind of like that. It's kind of nice. Anyway, hey guys, thanks. This was episode 3 of. a little bit madness. And we'll see you again if we ever get any more of us. Anyway, until then. Keep playing games and have fun guys.